I don't see an actuator. God, that's funny. How'd you get that hood to go up and down without an actuator that I can see? Must be hidden somewhere, huh? Wonder where. Todd's cutting out for our custom hinges right now with the lineal actuators that are hidden on the outside of the inner fenders. Here in a little bit, you'll be able to see how they work. The mock-up. We're mocking up our inner fenders, firewall. We've already glued in our main floor. So, we custom built inner fenders and firewall, close out everything in there, make it smooth and slick. So now we're gonna fit our hood, make sure our hood is fitting properly with the inner fenders before we bond anything else. It's crucial to keep fitting, making sure everything fits where you want it because this front end, the rear of the car, the way we have it fixtured, it's stable, but it's still, when you have all the guts cleaned out of it, you gotta put everything back in and bond it before you can open it up. So just part of what we're trying to do here is pre-fitting before we epox anything else in. He's fitting the actuator, or the hinge, bracket coming through the inner fender. See, you gotta have, when, that, when the hinge makes its movement, you gotta have enough room so it's all the way one way, all the way the other. Right now, that's at the very top. So it just clears all the way through the top motion. And when it goes down, it obviously, the sweep gets longer. That's why it's like that. Now we'll, fin now we'll finish sand all that smooth. It should look great. The hood hinges with human actuators. Boing. Boing.